Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back. It is day three of the farewell week of Guitar of the Day. At least for me, as the host. Welcome back. Day three. When are we going to do the Jump the Shark episode? The Fonzie episode, where we jump the shark? Um, I'll wear the leather jacket. Uh, maybe maybe tomorrow. tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. Maybe we'll do the Jump the Shark episode tomorrow. Yeah. Just a little historical TV reference there. For those of you who know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, the shout outs, guys. It's a bunch of them. I'm getting just, uh, so many. Jen's going through this. If I don't get it, take it up with her. It's not my no, fault. Uh, no, they're coming fault. from uh, so everywhere. Let's see. Uh, um, this is from Madison Warren. Happy 40th birthday to my boyfriend, Patrick Hannaway. Sorry, it's on Thumb Thursday, homie, but thanks for watching. Happy birthday. Uh, a lot of big birthdays today. Um, this guy didn't actually put a name, but it says it's pronounced like Bill Cosby. Ugh. <laughs> is it Bill Cosby? I hope so. Because we're wishing Bill Cosby happy birthday. Happy 54th birthday, homie. Thank you for watching. Thanks for reaching out. Oh, what else do we got? Another husband, uh, wife shouting out for those. This is from Trisha Hooper. Wants to give uh, Richard Hooper happy birthday uh, shout out. He's 40 today as well. Beaverton, Oregon. Sorry, it's Thumping Thursday, homie. Maybe next year. Um, <laughs> Good. Uh, six, happy 61st birthday to uh, Dan Sundell, Minneapolis, Minnesota. He was there for he was here for the 500th episode. Saw it in person. Very very cool. Thanks for watching, homie. Thanks for all the support through the years here. Uh, and then finally, this is from Bonnie Widows in Farmham, England. Wants to wish uh, her husband Jack happy birthday as well. Oh, and then a couple more. Happy 50th birthday, Kevin Hunt, and then my buddy Saint Brando on Instagram. Happy birthday, homie. Thanks for watching. Happy Thanks for birthday. all the uh, support over the years. They say there's few things in life that are certain, except death and taxes. The only other thing that's certain is eventually somebody's got to play bass. Um, you know, the Doors had it on the record. You know, the Black Keys bring a guy out on tour. Eventually, there's going to have to be bass. If there only could be one bass, and wouldn't it be a wonderful world? This would be the base. It's the final thumping Thursday. Come on back, check this out. You're gonna like it. This is from 1958. We got original Fender Precision Bass, gold anodized pit guard, original three color sunburst finish, maple neck, original tweed hard shell case, original strap. I think there's still a bag of drugs in there. Ooh. This is the good stuff, guys. I like Seriously, that. for me, this is the Desert Island bass. Well, it's a toss-up, actually, between this or the P bass that came, like, two years later. The Jamerson slabboard version, you know? Just depends on what you dig. Maple neck or a rosewood board. But I gotta be honest, for me, this is where it peaked. This is as good as it ever got for Fender. Uh, every one of these that I've played throughout my... Uh, almost decade-long tenure here at Norman's Rare Guitars has been killer. Mint ones, hammered ones, they're all killer. The best necks they ever made. They're always straight as an arrow. They don't move. Look at this one. Look at the flame on this guy. So you getting that? Ooh. I mean, it looks like a new neck that the custom shop would put out or something. This is actually a December 1958 neck stamp. We have the... Uh, three color sunburst finish starts. Well, let's go through the P bases because this is the last time I'm going to do this. I've done it before. Jen's shaking in her boots right now that I'm gonna ask her something. This is actually version three of the Precision Bass. First version uh, being in 51-ish, uh, the kind of Telecaster looking, butterscotch blonde, black guard, no contours. That's your original Precision Bass. Version two of that Precision Bass uh, is gonna come a little bit later, kind of like the white guard telly's around 55. Start to see him with the white guard and the sunburst finish. Still kind of the Telecaster body, but we add the body contours on the back, like you'd see on a Strat. And then you get this in 1957, which is series three with the split pickup that we've has become synonymous with the Precision Bass. And of course, the uh, introduction of the gold anodized pick guard. I like the gold. I love the gold anodized guard. I love it on a Jazzmaster too. Um, the anodized guards are really cool. We did do the Freddy Tavares um, prototype Jazzmaster that was in Norm's book. That had the black anodized pick guard on it. That guitar is actually at the uh, Songbird Museum in Chattanooga, Tennessee now if you ever want to go check that out. But yeah, the gold anodized guard is rad. Um, the covers, everything about it, it's just so iconic. 
I know a stack knob jazz bass might be worth more money, but to me, this is the Desert Island Thumper. Put some flat wounds on it. Oh yeah, you're having a good time, homie. <sighs> it's the last time ever I'm gonna have to do this. I'll say it one last time. I'm not a bass player. <laughs> no one's gonna enjoy this, but it's gonna be over soon. Let's go to the couch for one final Thumping Thursday. Plug this thing in, see what it can do. All right, we're out front. We have the 1958 Fender Precision Bass. Gold anodized pit guard, original three color sunburst finish. We are going through Rumble 200 today, all EQs at noon. Everything is shaking with wonderful reverberation. Uh, we're gonna turn the tone completely off on the bass. We're gonna turn the volume all the way up. We'll hit it with the fingers here. X will thump it the way the good Lord intended. See what this thing can do with the tone off. on the bass. Let's get a little more of that high end coming through. Let's see what it can do. Still with the fingers here. Let's hit it with the flat pick here as well. Give it a little bit more thump, see what this thing can do. Tone all the way up. From 1958, version three of the Fender Precision Bass, original three color sunburst finish, gold anodized pick guard. First time we start to see that split uh, P bass pickup that we've come so familiar with. Uh, tug bar on the bottom, original tweed hard shell case, flame on the neck, original strap. If you're on a desert island and it had to be a bass, I guess it would be one of these. Aren't we all glad? That was the final Thumping Thursday I'm ever doing here. Make sure you follow the story on Instagram at, at uh, Norman's Rare Guitars. Check the guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. And of course, come back tomorrow for another brand new episode of Guitar of the Day. It's Flat Top Friday. You're not going to want to miss it. See you then. Peace. Bye. Yeah, no.